The Story of Thinking Out the Box Many hundreds of years ago in a small Italian town, a merchant had the misfortune of owning a large sum of money to a moneylender. The moneylender, who was old and ugly, fancied the merchant's beautiful daughter so he proposed the bargain. He said he would forget the merchant's death if he could marry the daughter. Both the merchant and his daughter were horrified by the proposal. The moneylender told them that he would put a black pebble and a white pebble into an empty bag. The girl would then have to pick one pebble from the bag. If she picked the black pebble, she would become the moneylender's wife and her father's death would be forgiven. If she picked the white pebble, she need not marry him and her father's death would still be forgiven. If she refused to pick a pebble, her father would be thrown into jail. They were standing on a pebble-strewn path in the merchant's garden. As they talked, the moneylender bent over to pick up two pebbles. As he picked them up, the sharp-eyed girl noticed that he had picked up two black pebbles and put them into a bag. He then asked the girl to pick her pebble from the bag. What would you have done if you were the girl? If you had to advise her, what would you have told her? Careful analysis would produce three possibilities. 1. The girl should refuse to take a pebble. 2. The girl should show that there were two black pebbles in the bag and expose the moneylender as a cheat. 3. The girl should pick a black pebble and sacrifice herself in order to save her father from his death and imprisonment. The above story is used with the hope that it will make us appreciate the difference between lateral and logical thinking. But by thinking outside the box, the girl puts her hand into a money bag and draws a pebble. Without looking at it, she fumbled and let it fall onto a pebble path where it was immediately lost amongst all other pebbles. Oh how clumsy of me, she says. But never mind. If you look in the bag for the one that is left, you'll be able to tell which pebble I picked. Since the remaining pebble is black, it must be assumed that she had picked the white one. And since the moneylender dare not admit his dishonesty, the girl changed what seems like an impossible situation into an advantageous one.